Here is a case that is not rare in nature, but it's rare for us to get such a beautiful view of it. This whole thing out here looks like a large duct, doesn't it? It's because it is a large duct. It is an extra hepatic bile duct. It looks a little bit too large to be a left or a right bile duct. Could it be a common hepatic duct or perhaps the common bile duct, which is the convergence of all of the ducts? And uh, it looks like it could be a common bile duct, and maybe that's why they named it common bile duct. The reason why this is a rare thing is because we are privileged to see that on the inside of this duct and apparently originating from the mucosa of this duct is a large tumor. This tumor may be obstructing the duct. It may be obstructing the duct partially or completely. If you look closely at the tumor, it appears in areas to have a papillary configuration, sending out these little fingers of tumor tissue with a central fibrous core lined peripherally by epithelium. This is a papillary cancer. This is a papillary adenocarcinoma arising within a common bile duct. Usually by the time you diagnose these things, they're large, they're all over the place, and you don't get to see them this nicely. In this case, we are privileged to see it. There is no doubt that these are malignant cells. There are no doubt that they are glandular cells. Look at the considerable variation in nuclei, uh, size, lumpiness, and staining properties. Look at how some of them are very dark, uh, very, very hyperchromatic and irregular. Notice how in this area, they still seem to be pretty well delineated from the central fibrovascular uh, core of the papilla. But also notice that somewhere along the line, they sort of lose their uh, papillosity and turn into a pattern that looks kind of diffusely infiltrative of the uh, connective tissue or the stroma between it. And in this area, often, although you could probably call this a gland and this, and this. In many areas, it kind of loses its, its glandularity. And in some areas like here, you might have a hard time uh, trying to figure out which was an actual tumor cell and which was uh, a normal uh, connective tissue cell. And that's pretty much what we see out here. Here is the wall of the uh, common bile duct now as well. Uh, you could see that uh, some of this tumor has obviously invaded into the wall as well. And if there was any doubt that this was a cancer, just look. There's a gigantic nucleus with a huge nucleolus being nucleolus of this cell is bigger than the nuclei of most other cells. Here's a very dark irregular cell with the big vacuole inside of it. And of course, these are just reactions of inflammatory cells within the duct. I suspect this is tumor here. I know this is tumor here. So not only do we see that has this tumor uh, originated from the mucosa of the duct, but it also has invaded into the uh, wall of the duct as well. Uh, thank you very much.